Good morning and welcome to one of my stupid rants. This morning I want to talk to you about Journal CTL. Journal CTL is System D's way of looking at the logs and it just generally let me just show you. Let me just show you. It all appears basically in one log. Um, so everything's together. Right. Um, to be honest, I kind of prefer the old way where it was var log and everything was split up. And it seemed a lot more manageable. You could run something like uh, I notify to see what things were changing and you can tell things quite easily and all the tool sets were quite simple and easy to understand now we have the journal CTL and, and I'm just using the their web interface which is pretty bad you can't set up a filter and um, what's happening here because uh, the system D configuration of nginx is to go syslog level uh, error Basically, when this Nginx daemon runs, it, it's logging to the journal. So, as far as I understand, the journal does have some other good properties like um, something like forward secrecy, is that the right term? Basically, there's a little bit more integrity when so that logs can't be manipulated like, like, a, like they typically can with older systems. So uh, let me make that bigger. I'm not too sure if. Oh, you can actually click the individual message. So the the thing I'm want to complain about this morning is that um, s s some um, nefarious um, hacker has been scanning my um, my uh, my my network. And has been creating all sorts of for, um, all sorts of errors on on Nginx as a result. I, d I don't know why Nginx logs four four errors to syslog. It's a bit silly to me, but as you can see, I've got I've got reams reams and reams of errors here. And let's see how I can uh, let's see J next space. G J okay maybe uh, look at that so since I can see since um, hmm wow <laughs> okay since since uh, quarter to six this morning it's been scanning all these sort of like I don't know probably known re remote vul vulnerabilities in on a system it actually scans pretty quickly yeah it's all done in a minute but as you can see it's created a lot of logs I mean maybe it's a good idea that it logs these sort of things to to journal CTL and then I can can see it because obviously you want to go to one place to have a look at the logs but still um, I do find it annoying. And now that I've seen someone trying to, you know, attack my my computer, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to block that IP? Here's the bad man's IP. I do like the fact that these extra attributes here, nicely formatted. Hmm. I don't know. So um, you tell me, actually. What should I do? You tell me what 